Alright, if it's your first time using Tinkercad, it's very simple to get going. You'll go to Tinkercad.com, you'll get a page that looks much like this, and if you're signing in with your school account, you won't have to put in a separate username or password. You can just click Sign In at the top left, not the Join, but Sign In. Click Sign In with Google, and it should find your account from your Chromebook or your other computer if you've logged in there. And you'll get a screen much like this. If you're just starting, you won't have all these creations here already. We'll create a new design. And then the very first thing I want you to do before you get started with building anything is to change the name of your design. And this will make whatever you do easier to find in the future. When you've got five or six designs, it's not such a big deal. But once you've got 20 or 30, it's really hard to find out where you're supposed to be unless you've given everything a good name. Just click on the name, it lets you type in something new, click enter and you're done. So we've got a nice big blank canvas in front of us. The first thing I would like you to do is learn how to see things from different viewpoints. That is super critical, I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, let me drag a shape here just so we've got something to look at on the screen. Alright, and so there are a lot of different ways to change our view. Uh, I recommend using a mouse when designing. Your trackpad is useful for all of this too though and there are, there are two or three th ways to do everything. Let's start with the uh, panel on the left here. These are all different ways to change your view. This cube at the top, if I click and drag, it will let me view my objects from all over. Super, super handy. I can also click the home button to get back to that starting view or I can click one particular uh, part of this cube to see a certain type of it. I can also do that with a mouse by holding down my right mouse button and just moving my mouse around. You can do the same thing with the trackpad by using a two finger click and then moving your fingers around. If I want to zoom in on an object I can either use my buttons on the left side, I can use my scroll wheel on the mouse, or I can without clicking on the trackpad use two fingers and just move them up and down and that will zoom in and out. Of course I can always get back to that original view here. If you've got a mouse you can press the center mouse button and move things around like this which is super useful if you're zoomed in on something very close. Let me show you why it's so critical that you that you look around here. Let's say I want to make a very simple house. I've got my uh, my block. Let's put a little roof on that and I'll move this hat roof up, stick it right on top. There we go. So that looks like a nice little house. Looks like that should print just fine until we change our view and you can see that that is not sitting on top of that house at all. Now what would happen if you sent this in to be printed? Uh, first of all, probably just wouldn't be printed. I'd probably catch that. Uh, sometimes though things are really close and I don't necessarily see that it's not touching at all and what happens then is this the plastic when it's trying to print doesn't have anything to sit on top of and it just makes a kind of spaghetti and that makes a big mess in the best case scenario in the worst case scenario I, I get my uh, 3d printer clogged up and then it's out of commission for a day or so so this is really bad. I call this levitation because that piece is sitting up there like magic. It works just fine on the computer screen, but in the real world on the printer, this causes real problems. And the only way to find that is by making a habit out of looking at things from all sides and looking to see if there's space in between. So that's the first thing I want you to do. Learn how to move all around and look at your pieces from all the angles. And there are a lot of other tutorials on the website that will get you started with bringing in shapes and resizing them and moving them around and making holes and all kinds of really great stuff. It won't take you very long before you're doing really, really great projects.